Well, it's about a quarter till daylight. I got the old flivver fired up. It's warming up. And I'm gonna hit the road here in a minute. I've got to go to Royal City, Washington and I look at a job down there. Y'all can Google that. I just really dislike going down there. I don't like Royal City or Mattawa because uh, I'm just not much of a flatlander. That's awful flat country down there. I like the mountains. At least the rolling hills. But duty calls, so I just got to step up, you know. Got to pull up my big boy panties and just go do it. And Victor's headed up north, his crew, and I'm headed south by myself. I'm gonna check the park, see if it's slipping. Whoa, I seen a wildcat. There he goes, there he runs. <laughs> all right, we'll catch you all down the road. See ya. Well, this really takes me back. I uh, drove this old truck. This is a 73 Chevy, by the way. First year of the old square bodies. And I drove this old truck back and forth to California many, many times for many, many years. Sometimes several times a year with my grafting business. When I was doing a lot of grape grafting, vineyard grafting down there, don't do so much of that anymore. I just don't care to don't care to be on the road. Uh, living out of a suitcase is just not my idea of quality of life anymore. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's kind of good to get this old girl back out on the road, put the hammer down. You know, it feels good. The more I drive this truck, the more I. Remember how much I love it. <laughs> Get away from it and kind of forget uh, how enjoyable it is. Uh, yeah, I like this old truck. It's been good to me. Well, as you can see, I'm out in the flatlands and the badlands. See ya. This is farm country, without a doubt. No doubt about it. Well, in case y'all wondering what I'm doing, I'll show you. I'm checking to see if the bark's slipping, because we're going to bark graft these trees. Meaning we'll cut the sign and then just lift the bark and slip it under the bark. So I'll make a fresh cut, and then what I'm checking for is just to make sure this bark will lift up. And as you see, it does. 
that exposes the cambium layer that's where we place the graft oh yeah it's good it's good talk about your flatland boy this is it yeah this area is about two hours or two weeks ahead of Wenatchee when it comes to bud break in the spring which is about now picking time in the fall it's always a little bit ahead uh, that young man out there he's the orchard foreman this guy is the owner Bob he uh, he farms a lot of stuff a lot of row crops a lot of circle irrigation alfalfa and whatnot but he got into the apple business a few years ago as well and so that guy I was talking to Mexican guy said he that's his uh, or, orchard foreman and he said to me he said <laughs> he said why don't you speak Spanish all the time he said your Spanish is better than your English <laughs> I guess I guess he don't understand Arcanese <laughs> which is what I speak Arcanese we don't cut where we speak Arcanese <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go back to Wenatchee. I'm gonna go back where the mountains are. I'm going back to God's country. See ya. Well, check it out. Here it is, March, what, 17th? Apricots are in full bloom. Everything's about two weeks ahead of schedule this year. How about that? Forsythia blooming at my place even at 2,370 feet elevation. Yep, we're early. 